So damn hot. Milk was a bad choice. It's so damn hot. Milk was a bad choice. I wonder if anyone's in the left. There was people in the left. Is it gonna focus? No, I'm going to the gym now. Shannon's not feeling very well. Um, look at all of us, I've been squeezing spots, so a bit minging. Shannon's not feeling very well, I wasn't this morning, I think it's because of what we ate last night. It was like Egyptian night at the bar, um, so I think it's due to that. Um, we think it's because of rice and potentially that they boiled their rice in their water, not bottled water. Um, but that's just us assuming we're not 100% sure. But anyway, because she's not feeling well, um, I've just been doing a few bits, trying to upload a YouTube video with the Wi-Fi is shit, so it might be a case that I don't actually upload any while I'm here. And then I've just got a few in the log for when I get home. Um, but I'm gonna go train, I'm gonna go train legs. Um, had a rest day yesterday just because we were both felt knackered. I think the heat's got to us a little bit because it is very, very hot. Um, like, we're both pretty sound with the heat, but it's not the same as in England. And the first day, there was a little bit of wind, but today, and yesterday, nothing at all. So, yeah, gonna go train legs and then um, go see how Shannon is and we might hopefully be able to go for food. Um, it just depends how she feels. So, just walking into the gym now. So I've got my creatine in there and I'll just fill it up with the juice. I think it's cranberry juice, which I have as you come in because I've not got anything to mix it with up in the room. Um, so cranberry juice and creatine. I think I'm not hard enough to just dunk it. I don't know how people just chuck creatine in the mouth and down it. I'm not big enough or, or hard enough to do that. So cranberry juice and creatine, water, and time for legs. Okay, so what I'm doing on this movement is because they haven't got a squat rack or a hack squat or a pendulum squat, obviously with it just being a hotel gym, I'm trying to almost reenact um, a hack squat movement. So I'm getting my feet nice and close together, toes pointed out slightly, uh, slightly keeping it quad dominant with my, with my stance close and I'm almost aiming to have my feet directly underneath where my bum is and I'm just aiming to sit into my heels. Okay, because the reason for that is to then get the quads in their most stretched position so I'm trying to lengthen the quads out get a full range of motion so if you, you can see the depth I'm literally sat in my heels to my maximum mobility due to my, my mobility my flexibility that's as deep as I can get and then I'm pressing from there focused on keeping my heels down 
and my knees out. Okay, so I hear a lot of people coming onto their toes, our knees coming in. Focus on keeping your knees forced out, especially the lower you sit in the squat, the easier it is if you keep your knees out, drive through those heels, get off from the, the hole at the bottom. Okay, so what I'm trying to do on the RDL, it's a little bit of an odd setup because of the Smith machine and the angle that it's at, I do prefer it with a free barbell, but to effect does a job, it um, actually felt okay. So what I'm focusing on is keeping my spine neutral, of course, hip hinge movement, so driving my glutes and my hips back. I'm not thinking of coming down, I'm thinking of going back. Focus on getting a really good stretch in my hamstrings, making sure I'm getting the full range of motion. I aim for you know, minimum range to be mid shin. Again, that's going to be dependent on the individual's hamstring flexibility. Um, for me, mid shin, I get a great stretch. And then what I'm doing is I'm focusing on pressing through the floor as I drive my hips through, keeping my chest nice and high so my back straight, and then squeezing my hamstrings at the top. So hopefully, you should see that I'm squeezing my hamstrings at the top. You see the contraction. What on an RDL I don't try and do is really drive and lock my hips out because I feel like you can just rest at the top. So I'm trying to focus on just before I lock my hips out and I'm not making it too glute dominant and focusing solely on my hamstrings. So squeeze my hamstrings at the top, control that down, get a stretch, go again. So on this leg extension, as the range is a little bit odd, so the range gets cut short on the eccentric, so you can't get your quads in a fully lengthened position. Um, so not ideal but what I'm doing is just really slowing it down so I'm slowing the eccentric down to about 3-4 seconds and I'm holding it at the top for 1-2 seconds so as much as the machine isn't ideal there's variations and ways around it and, and principles you can use to progress the movement still, still make it tough so I'm not using a hell of a lot of weight I'm just slowing it right down good contraction nice low eccentrics on this one So that's the only hamstring curl they've got and I'm not using that. Um, basically the reason behind the fact that I'm not using that is because my joints are not made out of metal. Um, so basically the pad is here and here. Um, if you can see that behind my ankle and at the top of my shin. That's how it's supposed to be. But in terms of being able to move any decent load without it absolutely battering your shin, um, it's just awful, especially on the eccentric, you're controlling it down through your hamstrings, but the force of the, the bottom pad up against your ankle and the top pad down against your shin, it literally feels like a snappy leg, so I don't recommend those machines ever. So what I'm going to do for hamstrings instead, for the knee flexion component, is a Nordic hamstring curl. So what I'm doing on the Nordic hamstring curl is just training primarily through the eccentric so as soon as you're stronger on the eccentric I can slow myself down on that middle as best I can it's quite hard so we don't slow myself down on the eccentric and then help myself on the concentric so that's why I'm pushing myself on the concentric so training through the eccentric primarily that's the focus slow and control on the way now feel your hamstrings come slow yourself down help with the, the either a bench or a box or whatever to push yourself back up focus on really squeezing your hamstrings at the top hopefully again see my hamstrings squeezing hard at the top Okay, then some walking lunges, pretty standard. Started on the 25s on the way there, hitting 12 reps and then did it as I care, a bit of a drop set, dropped him, went body weight on the way back. Focusing more so on quads with the short stance, Just trying to keep it continuous without having a break at the top, Just keep the tension on the quads. Uh, glute cable pull throughs, we're focusing an exercise on the glutes, on that hip extension component. Yeah, so again, let it come back, get a good stretch on the glutes, drive those hip forward. Also a good tip on this, keep your toes pointed out to really incorporate those glutes contracting towards each other. Also don't have the cable directly at the bottom, have the cable almost in line with just underneath your crotch. Yeah, then you can get a better squeeze at the top rather than it being at an odd angle going down, it's going directly back and forward. So just a couple of variations of calf raise there on the smith. One with the plate uh, to get a good stretch, although I could have done with uh, a step or more plate to be fair. And then what I'm trying to do is drive up through my big toe and trying to get onto my big toe. And good contraction, one, two seconds at the top. And then pause at the bottom as well on the stretch. To be fair, usually I'll get a better stretch than that. Hold it on the stretch for longer, but seeing as the stretch wasn't great, that's why I went into the second variation where I, I took a few steps back to focus more on getting a good stretch on the car. Okay, then I'll just finish off with some abs. Uh, so on this one. The machine's a bit odd, but just focusing more on lifting my feet and pulling through my arms, so engaging the core and the abs rather than pulling through the upper body. Um, I did 10, just central, 
10 focusing on the uh, left oblique, 10 focusing on the right oblique, and there's a couple of sets of that. Really tough actually, one that I've not done before, so it's a little bit hard to get used to at first. Um, but the connections there and they're, they're killing now. Okay, so finished up, successful lower session. You've got to sort of do what you can in the hotel gyms. Two effects, not bad. Um, I can do, you know, that's the Smithness machine squat. I can do, um, I can do walking lunges, all the basics. Um, so now I'm going to go for a quick swim. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Right. So yeah, you got to basically just do what you can um, with the with the kit that you've got. And like I say, for a hotel gym, it could be a lot worse. The only thing that pisses me off is that hamstring curl. It's shit. If you had a good hamstring curl, then you can have a, a great lower session. Um, so, I'm gonna go for a really quick dip now. Oh, Shannon's up there. Let's have a look, let's see if she notices me. Shannon. She says she's coming down now, so hopefully she's feeling better. And then we're gonna go for a quick swim, go back, shower, and then go and get some food. Blue, isn't it? Yeah. Hey. Hello. <laughs> 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 